Dr. Matt here today. Today what we're going to be talking about is forward head posture. And what is forward head posture? It means when your head is forward out in front of the shoulders just like this. And why do I want you to listen today? I want you to listen because your kid's health depends on it. Along with yours, but your kids and our kids are the future of our health and future of our country. So we want to make sure we take care of them right now. So uh, it's hard to be happy with forward head posture. Okay, so the research is showing that um, forward head posture, and this is out of uh, the Health Psychology, the official journal of the Division of Health and Psychology, American Psychology and Associa uh, Associations. What they found was that researchers concluded that good posture in the face of stress maintains self-esteem, it improves mood, and it increases the rate of speech and reduces self-focus. So why is that important for kids these days? Because kids have it harder than they ever did with social struggles, with, um, with uh, just friends and, and getting along with people and school and the struggles of all of these things that are happening today. So by taking care of our kids, improving their very basic posture and decreasing their forward head posture will help to improve their mood. And it forward head posture increases the rate of depression. So by decreasing that forward head posture, improving their overall posture is going to decrease depression in kids as well as adults. So that's pretty cool. It's also been linked to asthma and heart disease. What they're showing is that when the head goes forward, it may actually decrease lung capacity by up to 30%, increase the risk of asthma, as well as uh, as your head goes forward. So as a study at the University of California, the uh, uh, physical rehabilitation uh, department there, what they found was that as the head goes forward, for every centimeter the head goes forward in front of the shoulders, it adds an extra pound of stress on the muscles across the back and the shoulders. Well, these muscles affect the nerves that run down into the heart and into the lungs, which is why we're seeing that link and why they're saying that link uh, is happening with forward head posture and increased heart disease as well as increased asthma and uh, breathing capabilities. Um, it's also been linked to carpal tunnel because of the nerves that flow through uh, the neck down the brachial plexus down into the hands. And as the head goes forward, it stretches the nerves and compresses the nerves and it can affect uh, uh, carpal tunnel in the hands. Uh, it can cause disc compression. And so in a normal healthy person, okay, somebody who has a curve in their neck, and I'm going to show you this. So a normal healthy person with them looking this way, they should have a curve in their neck like that. Now that's a big neck, but they should have a curve, a C curve, much like this, okay? The weight of the body, the majority of the weight of the body or the head should be carried on the back of the bones. Now, as we lose this curve in our neck, like this, the weight now comes off the back of the bones and is now resting on the disc spaces, okay? This compressive force accelerates the compression effects on the disc and the arthritic changes on the bone. So if you want to help prevent osteoarthritis, I suggest that you have your spine evaluated by a, by a qualified person that understands biomechanics to get that weight back onto the back of the bones again so that it's not compressing those discs. And also TMJ. So if we look at, at the body, okay, or the head I should say, and we have the, the mouth, the nose, the eyes, as the head goes forward, okay, these muscles in the back of the neck that are holding on to the head on top of the shoulders become stressed. 
they pull the muscles in the jaw, okay? And that will cause abnormal function within that TMJ joint. Um, that's why forward head posture can affect how you feel, how you eat, your discs, depression, asthma, as well as heart disease. Now, I'm going to give you guys some exercises that you can do to help negate the effects of this. Okay, one is. You put your hands behind your head and you actually push your head back into your hands, okay? It strengthen, strengthens the muscles in the back of the neck on the shoulders, okay? It strengthens those muscles to help pull that head back into a normal position. Stretching in all ranges of motion are also going to help to loosen those areas of those muscles that are tight. So going all the way back all the way down. You're gonna to wanna to hold it probably for about five to eight seconds. All the way down to the side, left and right, as well as coming to the right and left shoulders, okay? Now, I do want to caution you. I don't want anybody doing this and breaking their head that way because that sharp force, okay, or that impactful force can cause ligamentous tears, and that's something we want to avoid from happening, okay? So those are two exercises that you can do, the strengthening and the stretching exercises uh, for the cervical spine and the shoulders. Now, there's other things you wanna do that can help to avoid having this from happening, and parents, please listen up, because our kids are doing this every single day, okay? So, the causes of this are, Computer use. How many hours do you spend on a computer? How many hours are you looking at that computer monitor that is sitting down in front of you and your head is going forward and forward and forward and the shoulders roll forward like this, okay? Causing more stress and more weight to be carried out in front of your body versus over top of your shoulders, okay? Watch that at work. Watching TV. Where do you watch TV? Do you watch it in bed and you put a bunch of pillows behind your head? Do you watch it uh, on the couch and your couch cushions push your head forward? So you want to watch that. Make sure that you're up straight and trying to keep a good posture as much as possible. Uh, this is a big one for kids, the video games. Not too often do I see a kid sitting in a chair playing a video game like this with very good posture. They get into the game and they start moving around and they slide in their chairs and now before long they're sitting back. Always check your kids on this, okay? How about using tablets with their head down like this all day long or hours at a time playing a tablet and playing games? This will affect the cervical spine. Um, backpacks. Naturally, the body wants to adapt to the weight that you put on the back. So if you put weight on the back and it pulls the body back this way or your child back this way, they're going to want to put their head forward like this in order to support that weight that's on there. So by reducing the weight is one thing you can do to help your child and their spinal function. Um, second thing you can do is take the heavy books and make sure you get them against the, the back or as close to the body as possible and keep the light stuff on the outside. Uh, and the last one here is traumas, okay? Uh, number one trauma is the birth process. According to Dr. Uh, Gutman, he found that 80% of the children that are born today have damage at birth, which can contribute to this forward head posture. Uh, chiropractors check this all the time in people and in children, of course, and they help to correct all of the challenges that happen um, from the things that we do in life that cause this forward head posture can, to continue. So, um, other traumas would be auto accidents, slips or falls. Um, how many times did you fall as you were learning how to walk? We have traumas every day, and really it's the cumulative traumas over time that cause the imbalance in the muscles, the, the uh, alignment to not be proper within the joints, and the range of motion to begin to change, and the arthritis to begin to develop. So, uh, you wanna be happy? Correct your forward head posture. Gives you more confidence, as well as helps prevent 
these pain challenges from happening. So share this with somebody that you know that could uh, benefit from this and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.